Hi, Ma'am B. Thank you so much for joining us today. Just for a quick shout out and a call. Thank you. I appreciate Absolutely. that. Um, well, you're joining us from Chicago, right? And yes. uh, I would love to find out about your results. What has happened since the time you've joined with us and talk a little bit about it, about that. So tell me where is it that, what is it that you do? What is the nature of your work, right? So let's talk about that a little bit first. Yes. Well, thank you, Asma. I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to speak to what I do and what led me to um, working with you and the Accelerate team. Um, so I, I am focused on benefits and um, total rewards. So benefits, compensation systems, anything that has to do with HR and the employee and the employee experience um, from a systematic to um, what value proposition an employer would be offering. Mm -hmm. And so what I, what I was doing is I've been working um, for lots of different companies, whether it be uh, small, large um, consulting tech companies. And I decided I wanted to go out on my own. And when I made that decision, it was very scary, mm -hmm. but I knew that there was definitely a need for folks to be able to have people that would come in, focus on this one thing that they needed to have happen and get it done and get it done in a focused and methodical way. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I bring to the table. Um, and that's my value proposition for my clients. Mm -hmm. And so when I came in, I had probably one client and now I'm up to like five clients. And so that has been um, a blessing. And again, I, I think that has a lot to do with you know, us working heavily on, you know, what my operations are going to look like, how can I be better, and how can I manage my time better, and how can I manage my life better. Right. Um, so that has been super helpful, super grateful, um, and it's been great. Awesome. Awesome. I love to hear that. I love talking about our clients' successes and showcasing it to others to see how wonderful clients I have and we have in our, in our organization. So yes. And when we talk about those numbers of clients, your, the nature of your work is such that it is a high value thing. Like your, obviously the return uh, an investment for those companies that you work with is, is remarkable. And the savings that I have is, is exponential to what you bring. And obviously you charge for that. And that's what your, what your, where your expertise lies, of course. And I know we were talking about numbers beforehand and you said, oh my gosh, I don't have time. I'm pulling my hair out because I'm the amount of work that I, do, I have now and the clients that I'm working with on, on ground and constantly that in the process that we have put together, because we, yeah. we help you work with your product right? Mm -hmm. Your pricing, uh, your operations mm -hmm. uh, from scratch, from mark all the way to the market, to bringing it to the market on the digital medium of your mm -hmm. presence and creating content and how to, for you to where to find your client, how to go about it in this process, and then, and then serving them in, in, yes. in this service. So what, what inspired you to come and join Axor Global and our team? Absolutely. So I had worked with other um, coaches before in the past, and I think they were, you know, mostly focusing on personal versus um, what stood you apart from some of the others that I had interviewed when I knew I needed to really work with um, uh, a business coach and someone that was going to really help take me to the next level is someone that had and a group of people, but someone that actually had the passion to see me succeed and that was numbers driven and that knew exactly what my goals were and were gonna help me get there even when I didn't want to. <laughs> so, <laughs> so even when I was like, we're not doing this, you were like, but we are. And, yeah. so, <laughs> and so that was really super helpful in driving the transformation that I needed to, to have in order for me to really get to this point. And so, you know, even in the, in the fact that, you know, through this process, I mean, I've had a baby, you know, and yes, we, congratulations. we yes. were still rolling through and I was yes. like, okay, I'm only going to take like two months off and then we're back on it. And we just, mm -hmm. we did it. And so, um, it has been super helpful. There's still a lot of work to do, but I feel like in the time that we have worked together up to this point, there has been so much progress that now it's okay. How do we maintain this, this, this le uh, this level of of where we at where we are and how do we take that to the next level and so that's the the main focus and, and oftentimes when you think about 
business coaches, you know, they're really focusing on, okay, just your operations, not, okay, well, how am I going to get this client and how can I make this happen mm-hmm. if I don't know? And in my case, I do, I do have a level of sales experience. I'm very mm-hmm. passionate about what I bring to the table, but the operations piece, and I can do the work. So, mm-hmm. but the operations piece on the back end, you know, was where I thought, okay, this is where I could use a little help. And this is where I could figure out, okay, what are some of the ways that I can make it less strenuous on myself? Yes. Yes. And given all the challenges with your baby and your pregnancy, and then you have to work with, and you were still able to, to drive your business. So you didn't have to work exorbitant amount of hours. And that's why that's what we have developed in this process. That's why we bring a whole team of people to work with you for you, with you and teaching, you know, and that, that, that made the difference. Do you think so? Absolutely. I mean, I think that made the the biggest difference. I think, you know, and other coaching programs and other coaching plans, you know, it's one person that's trying to do everything, but that doesn't have the expertise in all of that. And what you have done is bring in the people that have expertise in those particular fields to then band it together. And we work similarly in that way, in that, you know, with my clients, I don't claim to be the expert in all of it. I bring in reinforcements of folks that do have the expertise and that and that's also my value proposition um so i I think that that is what sets you apart from you know the from the rest no thank you uh and and you've been like you have been a trooper given every all the challenges (laughs) that you've had you you're we're walking through it and this is one of the uh you know if if you watch all the other testimonials that come through this is the kind of a core of our of our clients, this is, I can proudly say that our clients at Axelrite Global are remarkable or, you know, people and organizations, and they're at different levels, all the way from startup to, to large organizations. But this is the core factor that they bring is that they power through and they continue to take action to drive results. And so have you. Um, so you do say you achieved whatever the goals that we're looking to, as far as, as your, your, um, goals for your business were concerned. Absolutely. I, I have achieved them and at this point I'm looking to you know um you know in the next six months hopefully even hire someone and I, I think that is a testament to me you know being able to have someone that I'm hiring and I'm not talking like hiring an assistant or hiring a babysitter I'm, I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking about hiring someone that can come in part-time and work through some of the you know lower level tasks so that I can focus on the sales focus on the client engagement Absolutely. and so on so that is where I would feel um, that I have really taken it to a whole nother level. So, so can we put a number on your sales? Because we were talking about it just the other day. So I don't yes. know if you want to, can you go ahead. I'm going to. Yes. Get yeah. I, I want to, I want to be able to have 10 clients running at a time yeah. and based on. You and know, we're the, talking about a revenue of around in, in millions, right? So yes, we're, exactly. we're still talking about like you making a revenue of hundreds of thousands right now versus right. next year, which is at least more than. 1.2 million. That's correct. Right? That is correct. So that's where we would be looking at um, with the, with the ten clients. You're right. So because your year one, uh, I think objective was was over 100k, like yes. around 60 to 100k, and I think we've yes. met that mark already. We have we have definitely met that mark, and, or, and over. or have we surpassed it? We've surpassed it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, because I mean, right now, I mean, I'm bringing over close to 13 13k a month. Very good. Hey, excellent. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. And counting. And, and counting. counting. Like still is, yes, those things are still coming in. So what so. has surprised you the most in this? In this I think group. what was surprising to me is I think we all face, and I'm talking to the women here and, and, and you know, men too, probably, but mm-hmm. we all face this imposter syndrome where mm-hmm. it's like, I don't know if I can do this. Like, is this mm-hmm. like a real thing? Can I really actually do this? And so I wasn't really sure, but I wasn't going to take no for an answer. That's mm-hmm. the difference. So if you don't take no for an answer, and even though you may feel like you can't do it and you still power through it, when you start to see those results, you're getting on those next calls a lot more confident and a lot more ready to go and knowing that whatever your services or whatever your your offering is is something that is really helping this 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 you know group of individuals or in my case companies so it you know i like to say you want to sell your genius you want mm-hmm. to put that out there instead of creating something that's not there and i think that is the one thing 
um, asked me when you and I first met, that's what we were talking about. And that was the one thing that my previous coach, we didn't talk about. It yeah. was it was something totally different just because I wanted to go different. And you were like, no, 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 come on back. Mm -hmm. We need to focus on your genius mm -hmm. and using and leveraging that genius and packaging myself in a way that the market would better understand what I bring to the table has really done numbers for me. I'm, I mean, people refer me to other people. So I'm not out here, you know, making a hundred calls a day. I'm not doing that. My, my norm, my focus is really on making sure that my clients are satisfied. That's the right people. Exactly. So you actually condense and reduce the amount of work instead of expand yeah, it. Exactly. Versus going. And, and we can all see the, the, the passion that's exuberating out of your energy. That's yeah, exuberating. Because you love what you do and you get I the do. results for what you do and you yes. are really working on the genius that you have. And this is what, what makes the difference between people who are thinking of focusing, okay, so where should I be? And especially for startups, what do you yes. recommend for the process that you've gone through for startups? What should they be you know, thinking about now you know what you know? Absolutely. If, you know, being a startup, I mean, even myself, I will say, you know, the biggest focus is making sure that you have your niche client. Mm -hmm. If you don't know who you're targeting, you're just basically throwing stuff on the wall and hoping that it sticks. Thanks. And that's where I was off a little bit, even though I thought I had my niche client, mm -hmm. but I really didn't. So mm -hmm. one of the things that your team, well, you helped me do and your team was forcing me to say, no, wait a minute, who is your niche client? Like, let's mm -hmm. go back to when you were in your corporate days. Who were you working with and who were you working for? Like, what does that actually look like now that you are saying, you know, what are you solving for? <laughs> and exactly. What that the problem like? that you're exactly. solving. Exactly. Exactly. So um, I, I think that would be the, the number one thing that I would tell anybody that's looking to start any business, uh, really. I mean, what are you solving for? Or what what are what, what value or what enhancement are you bringing that is not already there? Or if it is already there, what sets you apart from that next person? Mm -hmm. So, um, and in my case, I was very clear about that um, mm -hmm. after getting Getting clear about what that what what that the, what. the clarity and the focus of your purpose. That's Absolutely. what I always preach. You know, the yes. mantra, and you've yes. done it amazingly well. It it also matters how the how our clients implement it, and the way you have implemented is really remarkable, Mambi. I have to commend you for Thank that. You. All right. Thank you. So, who would you recommend us to? Oh, definitely, I would recommend you all to um, folks that are finding themselves stuck. Mm -hmm. in how their business is going to expand. So they're a startup and, you know, they, they had a, a dream or, or idea of wanting five clients, mm -hmm. but they only have one or mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. and it's not going, and me, even that one or two is not, is sustainable. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, you know, they're, they're shelling out money, but it's not coming in right. That's the person that needs to speak with you right away. Um, a person that has an idea, but is not really sure on how to go about getting the marketing out there and, and finding what that target audience is and mm -hmm. finding what they want to do, but they know they don't want to be where they're at anymore. Mm -hmm. That would be um, somebody that's that, that would be good for you. However, I would say on the flip side, if they're not ready to work, that's not going to be, they're not your ideal client because I agree. I, you know, so, yeah, you like, bet. It's just a waste know. of their time and money and, you know, for ours Ex too. And we wouldn't exactly. You know, Ex exactly. together for no exactly. reason. Exactly. But that would be the ideal client is, you know, small to mid-sized companies that are really looking to, or startups that are really looking to level up their business and really take it to the next level. Awesome. I so appreciate your time, Mandy, today. Absolutely. Really, really happy and thankful. And I wish you all the best for an ongoing success for 2023. Absolutely. 2023 is beyond the you're you're rocking already, but I know that you know you're you're making it to the to the level above. So we're gonna make I it wish, happen. We're gonna make it happen for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Take Thank care. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.